Hello. The other day at recess, I saw two first grade boys arguing while playing kickball with a group of friends. One boy called the other a cheater and threatened to tell the teacher. The other boy yelled back that he's not a cheater, but that he never wants to play with the other boy again. He stomped away from the kickball field with his head down, and the game continued without him. Have you ever experienced a conflict like that? Building friendships is a process, and there are often a few bumps along the way. In the story I told you, the boy who called a cheater who was called a cheater chose to end this conflict by walking away. But the conflict wasn't really resolved. Conflicts are a natural part of life, so it is important to know how to manage them. Here are a few steps to managing conflicts in a positive way. First, stop. Don't let things get out of control. Take a step back and try to calm down, since anger makes conflicts more difficult to resolve. Then, say what the conflict is about. Make sure you both have a clear understanding of what is causing the disagreement. Next, work together to think of positive options. What's a fair solution that meets both of your needs? Finally, choose a positive option that each of you can agree on. If you still can't agree, it may be time to ask a trusted adult for help. I hope you have a great week, and remember, practice managing conflicts in a positive way.